I like it. Do it again. Line it up. Let's go. William Burrow Jr. Again, wasn't again. planning on being the head coach at Cesar Chavez High School in Phoenix. That's but he can't imagine doing anything else, helping this team overcome the heartbreaking death of a player just weeks before the season started. The biggest thing is we stayed together. Every day we're talking together, we're eating together, we're together all the time. So to be able to share these feelings together, we can get over it together. Back in July, 15-year-old Chris Hampton drowned in a lake up in Sholo. Chris and his teammates were taking part in a football camp, and some players had gone to the lake for some team bonding. The teen's death was ruled accidental, but took an emotional toll on the team and the Cesar Chavez community. There were also questions about whether the season would go on, with the head coach and other assistants placed on leave after Chris's death. Let's go! Kick off! Burwell, who the players call Coach Ducey, agreed to step in and lead the team. When I showed up, it was a lot of doubt and it was a lot of confusion and it, and it was a lot of why questioning everything. You know, why did this happen? How did this happen? What do we do now? He was in the position right next to me, playing uh, as a weak linebacker. So. Having played with him all summer, to have him at the end of the summer him not be with me and him not being with me on the field in the season, it hurts. One of Coach Ducey's priorities was making sure his players knew it's okay to grieve, it's okay to cry, and keeping Chris's memory alive was important to everyone. Chris is still on my depth chart. He's still on my depth chart. So not only is he on the depth chart, we got a blitz named after him. Um, we just got patches, you know, big shout out to Fairfax. They gave us patches, man. So that was a lot of love. Um, and then we got the five on the helmet, but he's in our everyday conversation. The team's first game against Chandler High School was extremely emotional. Cesar Chavez lost 56 to six, but what everyone remembers is the two teams gathering at midfield after the game to honor Chris. Just the support we're getting from the community, the parents, man, it means everything to these boys. Let's go! Players and coaches have dedicated the season to Chris, but are determined to not let their emotions overwhelm them. Nine! Eight! Coach Ducey has already seen his team turn a corner, realizing this season is about more than just football. I'm hoping that they understand no matter what life throws at you, you have to figure a way. You have to find a way. Give to me one time. <laughs> Give to me two times. <laughs> Give to me three times. <laughs> Champs on me. Champs on three. One, two, three. Yes! Yeah! The team's longtime head coach and school athletic director submitted resignations last week, while the district continues to investigate the circumstances surrounding Chris Hampton's death. The team's family is thankful for all the support, but they still have a lot of questions. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's family.